inexperienced users of video laryngoscopy often place the laryngoscope blade too deeply and bypass the larynx. The tissues are often unrecognizable. In this case, as the video laryngoscope blade is withdrawn, we now see the larynx and the epiglottis. This can be prevented by practicing what Richard Levitan has called epiglottoscopy. As the laryngoscope blade is placed into the airway, the epiglottis is searched for. Once the epiglottis has been found, the larynx will be immediately distal. This technique was initially developed for direct laryngoscopy.